<laughs> Yo, beat makers and producers, you don't want to miss out on this. You know we gonna make it fresh. Gone are the days of making music and hoping that the bag is just gonna come to you. But it is more possible now than ever to go get the bag. First thing you need is a website. Now, there are hundreds of websites out there, but I'm gonna narrow it down to three. You have BeatStars, that's a great beat website. And then there's also Airbit, which is similar to BeatStars. And then there's Bandcamp. With BeatStars and Airbit, you can actually sell your beats, create licenses, also have sound packs, sound kits, you name it, you can do it. There's also publishing for YouTube. So just in case you have a type B channel, you can actually have a YouTube content ID and make money from it, as well as have a beat store pro page that's personalized just for you, the way you like it and how you can do it. Well, beat stars and Airbit is completely free, but you don't get all the jazz that you think. With beat stars and Airbit, the free version gets you 10 beats, maybe a sound kit and a lot of limited situations. But for $20 a month, you can actually unlock every feature and on top of that, be enlisted in the pro page. So now instead of sending people to a generic website or the marketplace, you can send people straight to your pro page. Now with Bandcamp, it's great and it's awesome, but you have to do everything by yourself. It's perfect for the artist who really doesn't like distribution and the way that it's paying. You get the percentage that you need, I'm talking 100% of the actual price of the record, of the actual price of the whole entire song, Beat makers also get in on this as well. There's no licensing, so you have to do that by yourself. And a lot of the other things that BeatStars and Airbit has made easy for beat makers and producers, you have to do by yourself. Bandcamp is actually cheaper. For a whopping $10 a month, you can unlock a whole bunch of features as well as multiple uploads, promote releases, do a lot of stuff. It's really made for the artist, not necessarily for the producer, but producers can get on it. You just have to finagle it. Once you've decided what store to use, whether it be BeatStars, Airbit, or Bandcamp, I need you now to figure out a schedule. Yes, it's just like content. Now you have to figure out a schedule that you need personally in order to make beats either daily, two to three times a week, whatever fits within your schedule. That way you are consistent. They always know when you're going to upload a beat. Now get this, BeatStars has an algorithm. So that way, whenever you upload consistently, they'll push it to people who have never heard you. So that's promotion without actually promoting. Here's a method that a lot of people are doing and a lot of people don't like to do it because it's almost like cold calling, but we're gonna get into this method anyway. You can go on Instagram and find an artist that you really like new artists actually listen to their music and create a relationship with them. When you actually create the relationship, talk to them, don't just say, you need some beats. Nah fam, I, I don't want any beats. Yo, I'm a producer, you need some beats. We're not finna do that. Actually start a conversation between you and the artist, actually listen to his music and talk about how you like his music, name specific things, and then after that, if it doesn't go anywhere or he doesn't research who you are, then you go ahead and leave your business card and leave it at that. I promise you, it will work. But like I said, it's just like cold calling. So another one is YouTube Sync. YouTube right now is struggling with DMCA. DMCA is a copyright claim that happens whenever you put music up under your stuff. So now they have to purchase these libraries like Artlist.io and Envato Elements, a lot of other ones for a monthly subscription. Or they could just reach out to you and get your beats. Now you have a consistent client who always needs something for their videos. YouTubers always need music and that is a perfect way to make money. Apart from YouTube sync, there's also sync licensing and sync licensing is a surefire way to make a lot of money. Even though the game has changed, it's still a surefire way to make a lot of money. You as a producer or a beat maker can actually find a music licensing project manager or something of that nature for movies and films and stuff like that. 
And on top of you doing that, they'll pay you for a crap load of beats just off the cuff because they always need music. They always need something new. Now for the YouTuber, you can actually give them a tack of 10 beats for 60 to $7. That's actually kind of cheap, but it's 10 beats that they can use on the regular. They don't have to pay a subscription. For the sync license, that one you can actually charge whatever you want. And they'll actually pay for hundreds of beats, not just 10. Put down in the comment section below what method you're gonna use. I would really like to know. And if you really want to know about how to actually start making beats with the right equipment, go ahead and click this video right here. I will see you in there.